brethren, let us begin to appreciate this God, this wonderful God, who has turned us into wonders, who has turned us into amazements, that God who has been doing what no man can do in our lives. Let us adore him, let us appreciate him. He's a good God, he's a wonderful God, he's a glorious God. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Give God all the praise this morning. Praise God for your life. Praise God for your family. Praise God for Restoration Chapel. Praise God for all the nations of the world. Bless his holy name even for all he has been doing. Magnify him. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. The Bible says in Proverbs 14, 34, that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach. Let's pray for all the nations of the world by lifting up our voices and saying, Father, in all the nations of the world, let your righteousness prevail. Let the rulers rule in righteousness, O Lord. Let the followers follow in righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus. In every nation of the world, let righteousness prevail, O Lord. Let righteousness prevail, O Lord. Let the rulers rule in righteousness. And let the followers follow in righteousness. Father, let your righteousness prevail in all the nations of the world. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are still praying for nations. You say, Father, whatever and whoever is hindering your words in the nations of the world, please remove them by your power. In the mighty name of Jesus, anybody, anything hindering your word, hindering the gospel in nations of the world, please remove them, O oh Lord. By your power, remove them, O oh Lord. By your power, remove them, O oh Lord. By your power, remove them, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Still praying for nations. You say, Father, in any nation of the world where there is war now, replace with your peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, let peace replace wars in your nations. Let peace replace wars in any nation where there is war. War. Let there be peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, let there be peace, O Lord. Thank you, glorious Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You now pray for yourself. You say, in the name of Jesus, as year 2019 is packing its loads, never to be seen again, it will not pack away my peace. It will not pack away my joy. It will not pack away my good health. In the mighty name of Jesus. This nation will not pack away my joy. This nation will not pack away my peace. This nation will not pack away my good joy. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Still praying for yourself. You say every evil that Satan is sharing this year, none will come to my household in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil being shared by Satan, they will not come to my household in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, evil will not come to my household. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. And finally say, oh Lord, as we gather this week, to praise you as a church in the healing and anointing service. Let unusual blessings come. Let uncommon miracles come in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as we gather you, the blessings as we gather to praise you, the blessings in praise, the healing in praise, unusual blessings in praise, uncommon miracles in place, let it be my portion. Let it be our portion. 
As a church, let it be our portion. Thank you, glorious Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Father, we give you praise. For your goodness, we glorify you. For your mercies in our lives, we adore you. For what you have done for us as a church, we bless your holy name. And for what you are doing in our nations, we adore you. Please accept our thanks and praises in the mighty name of Jesus. Every one of our prayer requests this morning, please turn to testimonies. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, church, and welcome to Restoration Chapel, where holiness is key and God is restoring all. Here are this week's announcements. Please turn your attention to the jumbo screens for the morning announcements. The family of Brother Dio and Sister Rita Fama King Johnson invites you to the service of songs in honor of their father and grandfather, Pastor Johnson Olayinka Fama King. It'll be holding November the 22nd on Friday at 6 p.m. in the Youth Church. God bless you as you endeavor to attend. And the Congress this year is going to be so extraordinary that my daddy has told me to tell you miss this one, you probably have missed it all. And so, as I sought his face, he has asked me to declare the whole month of November as a month of fasting. I'm happy you are happy because you know what that one means. At the end of it, the Almighty God is going to do something the world had never seen before. So November, from November 1 to November 30, daily fasting. And those who want to do their own as uh, uh, night and day, to do it for 10 days, non-stop, that'd be okay. 10 days and 10 nights roll together. But uh, get ready for the great turnaround. Let me hear somebody shout hallelujah. In view of the announcement we just heard from Daddy Gio, our daily prayer and fasting commenced on Friday, November the 1st, and it will end on the 30th. Our prayers will be holding from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. daily. For telephone access, you can also reach the prayer line at 862-902-0250, and the access code is 546-1907.
This year's healing and anointing service will start tomorrow, the 11th, through November the 17th. It is going to be seven days of praise. Remember, it'll be holding from 7 to 9 p.m. daily. For those that will be attending this year's Holy Ghost Congress in Nigeria, please call the church office to put down your names no later than November the 13th. Please note that late registration will not be allowed. There will be no Men of Valor prayer meeting tonight because of the ongoing fasting and the daily prayer. We would love to say a big happy birthday to all our members celebrating their birthday this week, especially today. Alabi Olutunde, Onisofian Sony Joel, Sheyi Ajayi, Titus Onia, Olabisi Balogun, and a special happy birthday to Deacon Jayola Osho. And a big happy birthday to our daddy in the Lord, Senior Pastor Kamal Sanusi. We pray that God continues to bless you, sir, and perfect everything that concerns you. God bless you. Once again, happy birthday from us at Restoration Chapel. God bless. We would love to give a warm welcome to all our guests fellowshipping with us here at Restoration Chapel for the first time. If this is your first time worshiping with us, please signify by raising your hands. Ushers, please lead our guests to the seats that we have reserved for them. Once again, God bless you and welcome to Restoration Chapel. Welcome you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today is our All Nations Day. It's not a coincidence that you are here today to worship the God of all nations. The God of all nations that you have come to worship today, we bring down his glory upon your life in the name of Jesus. This is the Redeemed Christian Church of God Restoration Chapel, where holiness is the key and God is restoring all. The God of restoration that you have come into today will restore everything that the devil has stolen away from you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And all shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Please, at the end of the service, don't rush out. One of our ministers will be with you to welcome you in our own special way. Sit back and enjoy the service. The Lord bless you real good in Jesus' name.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I stand here this morning under the anointing of our Father in the Lord and our mommy, Shanisi, to welcome everyone to this edition of All Nations. In 1942, 26 countries at war with the high power. They met in Washington to sign the declaration of the United Nations. In 1945, this country came together and they came together to form the All Nation, the um, United Nations. They met and they declared the October 24 of every year to celebrate the United Nations. This, uh, 50, uh, this 56 country that met together, they declared this, uh, the day, the November 24, to be observing this nation by member nations. The, um, in, uh, the, this, they started this in 1948. They eventually, um, according to their statistics, they said we have 195 nations in the world, 193 being members of the United Nations. The two remaining ones, they are the observer nations, which are the Holy See and the state of Palestine. As at August 2018, the Redeemed Christian Church of God has a place in 198 nations of the world. Meaning, despite the fact that two states, two countries were not recognized by the United Nations, not even talking of the other three that made up the 198 where we have the redeemed Christian Church of God. Meaning five countries were not recognized as members of the United Nations. They were not re recognized as nations at all. But because of the vision that the Lord gave our daddy Gio at the Boye, we have churches in 198 countries. And hence, they are being recognized by God, even when the United Nations did not recognize these five other nations. God is no respecter of persons. There is no male, there is no female. There is no nation that could be observing and the other not being recognized as nations. And hence, we come together every year to lift up nations unto the Lord. Because we know when we cry out unto God, he hears us as his children. The United Nations came together because they want to maintain peace and cooperation among nations in the world. Can there be peace without the Prince of Peace? No. So this is why we have to lift up nations of the, unto the Lord. Things are happening around the nation. In Colombia today, they have opened the Church of Satan, and they have started receiving the mark of the beast, the 666. So we need to cry out unto God that God should return nations to his master plan for all nations. So as we gather together today to worship the Lord and to lift up our voices unto him, to cry out to him to restore peace upon nations, I pray that as we worship the Lord today, his glory will come down upon all nations and peace will be restored in Jesus' name. And because you are Abrahamic seed, the Lord says, out of the seed of Abraham shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Because you are here today as members of Restoration Chapel, as we cry out unto God today, we pray that out of the seed, of 
Restoration Chapel shall all the nations of the earth be blessed in Jesus' name. I pray as you are here today, you will not go empty. The Lord will restore peace in our nations. He will restore peace in our homes. He will restore peace in our, in our, in our youth life. He will restore peace all around us to his glory in Jesus' name. And on this, I call on our mommy to please declare the day open. Shall we honor God? Friend, let's join our hands together. And let's declare that Jesus is Lord over all nations. Let's declare Jesus as Lord. Even where they believe right now, Jesus is Lord. And even where they don't believe Jesus Christ right now, Jesus Christ is Lord. The creator of the world is Lord over the world. We submit every nation, submit every nation unto the hands of the Most High. And let's declare that Jesus Christ is Lord over every nation of the earth in the name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Over every nation, over every nation of the earth, Jesus is Lord. Let's add that the light of God will shine in every nation. The knowledge of Jesus Christ shall cover the earth in the name of Jesus Christ. The knowledge of Jesus Christ, our Lord, shall cover the earth in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord, over all nations, Jesus Christ is Lord. We thank you, Father. We bless your name. The creator of the world. The master over all nations of the earth. We submit every nation unto Jesus Christ the Lord this morning. And we say over the nations that believe and over the nations that are yet to believe, Jesus Christ is Lord. Let your light shine. Let your knowledge, the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ cover the earth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father. And in our homes too, we declare Jesus Christ is Lord. And so in the spirit of the fact that Jesus Christ is Lord, everywhere in our homes, in this assembly, and in all the nations of the earth, we declare this day, all nations day opened in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Shout hallelujah. So let's enjoy as much as God has for us today. All nations day. I want to say a big um, happy birthday to our Deacon Jayosho. Deacon Jayo, happy, 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 happy birthday. The most I will keep you, preserve you. You will fulfill destiny in the name of Jesus. You will not walk out of faith. The Lord will draw you closer to himself. He will keep you, keep your home, keep your children, and bless you. Happy birthday. We're going to begin with a slideshow presentation. And this presentation just has facts about the countries that are being represented here today. Listen and learn something new about other countries other than your home country. The Christian flag, an ecumenical flag designed in early 20th century. It represents 
all of Christianity and Christendom and adopted in 1942. It is a white banner with a red Latin cross charged on a blue canton. The shade of the red on the cross symbolizes the blood that Jesus Christ shed on the cross of Calvary. The blue represents the water of baptism and the faithfulness of Jesus, and the white represents the purity of Jesus. The Texas flag. Texas is popularly known as the Lone Star State. Texas has a population of 28.7 million people as of 2018. The lightning belt is the official state shell. Texas is the only state to have the flags of six different nations fly over it. And they are Spain, France, Mexico, Republic of Texas, Confederate States, and the United States. More wool comes from the state of Texas than any other state in the United States. Texas is the only state to enter the United States by treaty instead of territorial annexation. The state was an independent nation from 1936 to 1845. In Texas, Jesus is Lord. The United States of America. On July 4th, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was issued, establishing the United States of America. The US is the fourth largest country in the world by land area, and third by population. On February 25th, 2013, the estimated population of the United States was 315,568,000. The U.S. has the world's largest economy. The U.S. developed the first nuclear weapons, using them on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, near the end of World War II. The Mississippi and Missouri rivers combined to form the longest river system in the US and the fourth longest in the world. The tallest mountain in the US is Mount McKinley, located in the state of Alaska. It reaches 20,320 feet above sea level. Alaska was purchased from Russia in 1867 and is the largest state in the U.S. by land area. The most populated city in the U.S. is New York City, followed by Los Angeles and Chicago. Israel has more Nobel Prizes per capita than the United States, France, and Germany. It also has more laureates in real numbers than India, Spain, and China. About 93% of Israeli homes use solar energy for water, heating, the highest percentage in the world. English. English is the most commonly spoken language in the United States, followed by Spanish. The US consumes more petroleum than any other country in the world. However, in the United States of America, Jesus Christ is Lord. Israel. Israel has the eighth longest life expectancy in the world, 82 years, which is more than the United Kingdom, 
the US, and Germany. Relative to its size, Israel is the largest immigrant absorbing nation on earth. It has absorbed 350% of its population in 60 years. Israel has the highest number of museums per capita in the world. There are over 100 sushi restaurants in Tel Aviv, which, me which makes it the city with the most sushi, sushi restaurants per capita after Tokyo and New York City. Israel was the first country to ban underweight model. The first man to walk on the moon was American Neil Armstrong on July 21st, 1969. The U.S. was the leading force behind the development of the internet. Palestine. In Israel, the nation of Israel, the nation of Israel, where Jesus is forever the Lord. You know they belong specially to Jesus Christ. And no matter what is happening there, Jesus Christ is Palestine. Palestine has its origin from the world filth dust created by the Greek writers to the region of the Palestine. Several currencies are commonly used in Palestine. The US dollar, Jordanian diners, and Israeli new shekels. The Egyptian pound is also accepted in Gaza. The Dead Sea, which is the Earth's lowest natural point of elevation, is found in Palestine. Tourism as l is a large part of the Palestine economy. Other predominant sectors, including querying and the building stone industry, cement production, textiles, soap, olive wood carvings, and olive-related industries and mother of pearl souvenirs. Christmas is celebrated three times each year, the first of which is December 25th, per Western tradition, followed by January 6th, per Greek Orthodox tradition, and finally on January 18th, as per Armenian tradition. In Palestine, Jesus Christ is Lord. Nigeria. Nigeria is the seventh most populous country in the world, home to more than 200 million people. Nigeria is a diverse, multi-ethnic country with more than 520 spoken languages. While English is the official language, Hausa, Yoruba, and Igbo are also major languages in the country. 7% of total languages spoken in the world are spoken in Nigeria. We are still waiting for them. That's how they dress over there. Different cultures represented. Nigeria's third mainland bridge is the largest bridge in Africa. Evidence of human life in Nigeria dates back as far as 9,000 BC. Nigeria's nickname is Giant of Africa because of the size of its land and the diversity of its people. In Nigeria, Jesus is Lord. The United Kingdom. The first postage stamp was created in the United Kingdom. It was designed in May 1840, and it featured the figure of Queen Victoria. Queen Elizabeth ascended the throne in 1953, and in 2015, 
Her Excellence became the longest reigning queen in the world. There are no mountains in England higher than a thousand meters. Corante was the first British newspaper. It fir its first ever copy was printed in 1621. In the United Kingdom, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. Ghana. Ghana is known for diverse wildlife, old forts, and secluded beaches such as at Buswa. Its capital is Accra, with a population of 28.83 million. Ghana was ranked as Africa's most peaceful country by the Global Peace Index. The name Ghana means warrior king and harks back to the days of Ghana Empire between the 9th and 13th centuries. Ghana has the largest market in West Africa. It's called Kejetia, and it's located in Kumasi, the Ashanti region's capital. There you can find everything under the hot Ghanaian sun, from local crafts, beads, cloth, and sandals, to secondhand jeans and clothing, and meats, fruits, and vegetables. In Ghana, Jesus Christ is Lord. China. 2.200 years ago, the game that later turned into football, soccer, was invented in China. China holds the world record for the highest, largest population on Earth. The Chinese New Year celebration lasts for 15 days. Ice cream wasn't invented in Italy. It was invented in China 4,000 years ago. Many Chinese emperors consider themselves to be descendants of dragons. In China, Jesus Christ is Lord. Zambia. The flag of Zambia was hoisted for the first time at midnight on the 23rd of October 1964, symbolizing patriotism and the nation's natural resources. The, na the national bird is the fish eagle. Zambia's boat boasts Victoria Falls, the largest waterfall in the world. Zambia, Zambia, the Zambian is flashing the flag of Zambia, in Zambia, Woo! Jesus Christ is Lord. Sierra Leone. Its name means Lion Mountains. Israel built their parliament building, and the British sent freed slaves here. Sierra Leone is home to a giant snail called the Ghana snail. It usually reaches seven inches in length and 3.5 inches in width. The biggest on record have reached 12 inches in length and six inches in width. Mount Bintumani, also known as Loma Mansa, is the highest peak in Sierra Leone, and the Loma Mountains at 1,945 meters, or 6,381 feet above sea level. <laughs> Mama from Sierra Leone is saying, the biggest where? It's known for what, Mama? Diamond and gold. In 
city I lose, Jesus Christ is Lord. El Salvador. It has the third largest economy in Central America, behind Costa Rica and Panama. It is known as the land of the volcanoes because of the more than 20 volcanoes in the territory. Two of them are currently active. It has a population of almost 7 million in an area slightly smaller than the state of Massachusetts or Wales. This fact makes El Salvador the most densely populated country in the Americas. Salvadorans are extremely friendly, warm, and welcoming. 64% of the population lives in urban areas. In Cal El Salvador, Jesus Christ is Lord. Philippines. There are about 175 languages spoken in the Philippines, with 171 of them considered living, while four tribal dialects have no known living speakers. About 11% of the population of the Philippines, more than 11 million people, work overseas. The Philippines produces and exports more coconuts than any country in the world. The entire land mass of the Philippines is made up of islands, making it the second largest archipelago in the world. In Philippines, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Haiti. Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, and it is also the third largest country in the Caribbean. Haiti is the second oldest independent nation in the Western Hemisphere after the United States. It gains its independence from France in 1804. It was ruled by 70 different dictators between 1804 and 1915. The majority of Haitians love to gamble. They are even known to beg gods to reveal the winning lottery numbers during voodoo ceremonies. Cockfighting is also very popular in Haiti. The winner of the fight takes home six or seven dollars, which is almost a month's salary for someone. In Haiti, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. France. France is known as the wealthiest country in Europe and it is the fourth wealthiest nation in the world. The French people have a very high standard of living and high expectations for education. France uses nuclear power for 79% of its electricity, making it the largest user of nuclear power in the world. Almost 80 million people visit France each year making it one of the world's most visited countries. France has the highest female life expectancy in the world. In France, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. We are not playing, we are declaring Jesus as Lord over all nations. Kenya. Agriculture is important to Kenya's economy, especially tea, coffee, and flowers. Kenya is roughly the same size of Texas at 362,040 square miles. Some of the oldest known paleontological records of man's history have been found in Kenya. Kenya's Great Rift Valley was formed around 20 million years ago when the crust of the earth was split. Most Kenyas are either very poor or very rich. Very few can be classified as middle class. 
in Kenya, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Canada. In 2012, the population of Canada was around 35 million. The two main languages spoken in Canada are English and French. Canada is the second largest country in the world by total area. Canada is made up of 10 provinces and three territories. Canada shares the longest land border in the world with the United States totaling 8,891 kilometers, which is 5,525 miles. The name Canada comes from the word Kanasa, which means settlement or village. Canada has over 30,000 lakes. In Canada, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Russia. The land border of Russia is 20,241 kilometers long, the second longest of any country. Russia is the second largest country in the world and is approximately 1.8 times the size of the US. Russia has a high literacy rate with 99.7% of the population able to read and write by age 15. Russia is one of the five most spoken languages in the world. In Russia, Jesus Christ is the created of the United Arab Emirates. The UAE is comprised of seven different emirates, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Ras al Tama, Ajman, Um al Quain, and Fujara. Each emirate has different cultures and traditions. The country's form of government is an absolute monarchy. Each emirate of the UAE is ruled by a separate royal family, but the emir of Abu Dhabi is the country's president and head of state, while the emir of Dubai serves as the nation's prime minister. The world's tallest building is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the skyscraper is 828 meters high. A.E. Jesus Christ is Lord. Mexico. Mexico is the hardest working country in the world, with an average citizen of Mexico working 2,246 hours a year, or 43.2 hours a week. Eight out of the 52 U.S. states exist on the land that used to belong to Mexico. The 34th Mexican president ruled for less than 60 minutes before quitting. In Mexico, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Cameroon, the world's longest ruling non-royal national leader is Paul Bia, who has been the dictator of Cameroon since 1975. Cameroon's name comes from the Portuguese word for shrimp. In 1986, an actual cloud of death swept through an entire area of Cameroon suddenly asphyxiating everything in its path, including four villages, 1,700 people, and 3,500 livestock. In Cameroon, Jesus Christ is Lord. South Africa. 
The longest continuous wine route on the earth is found in South Africa. It is the largest meat producer in Africa. Table Mountain is one of the oldest mountains on the planet. South Africa is the only country in the world where right-hand driving cars are produced by Mercedes-Benz. The variety of flower spices found on Table Mountain number more than those found in the entire United Kingdom. In South Africa, Jesus Christ is the Lord. Zimbabwe. The first people of the country were the Bantu-speaking Iron Age farmers that settled in the region around AD 300. Zimbabwe abandoned its currency and is currently using others. This happened after the massive inflation that hit the country in 2008. The country abandoned its currency and has been using the US dollar, the South African Rand, and the Botswana Pula since April 12, 2009. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. In Zimbabwe, Jesus Christ is the Lord. Amen. Germany. Germany is the seventh largest country in Europe covering an area of 137,847 square miles, of which 34,836 square miles is covered by land and 3,011 square miles contain water. Berlin has the largest train station in Europe. Germany is composed of 16 states. The states have their own constitution and are largely autonomous in regards to their internal organization. In Germany, Jesus Christ is the Lord. Amen. Italy. The first thermometer was made by an Italian inventor, Santorio Santorio, in 1612. Pizza was invented in Naples and dates back to 1860. The Vatican City in Rome is the smallest country in the world. Italy is the fourth most visited country in the world. Italian Alessandro Volta invented the first battery in the 1800s. In Italy, Jesus Christ is the Lord. India. India has the second largest population in the world with over 1.2 billion people. India is the seventh largest country by total area. India belongs to the continent of Asia. It is bordered by the countries of Bangladesh, Bhutan, Burma, China, Nepal, and Pakistan. Many different languages are spoken in India. The main ones are Hindi, Bengali, Telugu, Marathi, Tamil, and Urdu. In India, Jesus Christ is the Lord. Now raise up all those flags. Raise up the flags. Church, because we know what we are doing, that we are not playing today. Today is All Nations Day. And all we are doing is committing every nation on the earth unto the hands of the Most High. Where Jesus Christ reigns, of course, peace will reign. Joy will reign. 
prosperity will reign. I want us to rise up as a church and commit all nations presented, flagged unto the almighty God. The ones that are flagged, the ones that, that are not flagged, every nation, we are, we are committing them unto the hands of the Lord that Jesus will reign. Every leader in every nation we submit to Jesus Christ. Oh, when the righteous rule, the people prosper. The people are happy. The presence of the Lord is, is, is mighty. I want us to pray this morning. The peace of God over every nation flagged and unflagged in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, church, pray the peace. Don't just listen to what is it that is happening in Italy. It's because we don't pray for them. We just come to church to pray for ourselves. Commit, commit that Jesus is Lord over all nations of the earth. Thank you. We've come to the end of our presentation and we'll be singing this song. We'll be singing this song as we file back out. We are a chosen generation. All the voices know his excellence. All I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. We are a chosen generation. We are a chosen generation. All the voices know his excellence. the Lord. Can we have a seat? You know we are we're taking too much time. Uh, we're going to be uh, running very fast now so that we can save some time. Uh, we have a scripture reading now and uh, we are going to have uh, the reading in uh, uh, some languages and it's just one verse and that's the theme of uh, this year's All Nation Day which is taken from the book of Psalms 86 verse 9. We'll be Taking the reading in English, in French, in uh, Sierra Leone, in Germany, in Igbo, and in Yoruba. For the English, uh, maybe I'll just go ahead and do that. And then after that, uh, Mr. Fisayo Olamigo Kishu just quickly get ready for uh, the French reading. Psalm 86, verse 9. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. Praise the Lord. Is uh, Brother Lamigoke here? For the French. Je vais exciter, oh ma saveur. Je vais exciter, oh ma saveur. Je vais exciter, oh ma saveur. Je vais exciter, si tu me plais. Alléluia. Je vais exciter, oh ma saveur. Je vais exciter, oh ma saveur. Je vais t'exciter, oh ma saveur. Je vais t'exciter, si tu me plus. Louez Dieu, alléluia. Louez Dieu. Louez le 
something now. Um, bonjour, messieurs, uh, madame et messieurs. Le sinon. <laughs> S'il vous plaît, uh, ouvrez votre Bible au Somme 86, verset 9. Le Somme 86, verset 9. Je vais commencer maintenant. Vous écoutez uh, attentivement, s'il vous plaît. Toutes les nations que tu as fait vendront et se présenteront devant toi, Seigneur, et glorifie éternel. Et glorifie éternel. Alléluia. Que le Seigneur bénisse sa parole. Au nom de Jésus. Au nom de Jésus. Merci. Louez Dieu. Louez le Seigneur. Louez Dieu. Merci beaucoup et à très bientôt. Merci. I'll be reading uh, our verse in a Sierra Leonean language, and I'll be reading our universal language, which is Kiyu. Psalm 86, verse 9 says, Papa God, now you make all the nations, all the nations and will come worship you. Then all go join for praise your name. Amen. in German. Good morning, Kirche. What is that? We are listening out the book, the Psalm chapter, section chapter, verse 9. Alle Nationen, die du gemacht hast, werden kommen und gehören. Am de Gott, o Wird sein Name preisen. Amen. Psalm 
gbogbo awon orilede ti o da yo wa oluwa won yo ma fori bale niwaju re won o si ma yin oruko re logo eyin oluwa logo praise the lord without wasting our time please let's sit relax and enjoy uh, the next uh, movie and the title of the movie is in the beginning Praise the Lord. God created mankind for the sole purpose of praising him in one voice and language, but the Adamic nature of man pushed them to rebel against his lordship. It has been a long day. And before we go into our different rooms, it is our normal routine to gather here to give thanks. But before we give thanks, there has been something that has been bothering my mind. What is it, my ass? Hmm. It's about this man. Although he has showered us with love. Yes. Yes, that's true. Yes. Making us to do things in common. Yes. Oh, that's true. But I've never seen his face before. Or has anyone seen his face before? But why do you want to see his face? This man has been very good to us, providing all we have ever asked for, even more than what we ask. But I think that is the most important thing, that for you to want to look for his face. Yes, he has been good to us, gives us everything, provides all that we need, and we're looking so good. Yes. But what of if he has a hidden even a dender. That's the key word. That's the key word. You know what, friends? I have an idea. I think we should have our own place. Okay. I will go out there to spy so that we can have our own big empire. Beautiful. By so doing, we will cut him off completely. Yeah. Probably that will bring him out of his hiding place. I will be able to see his face. I think having our own empire is a good idea. I can imagine <laughs> how I will feel in my own empire. That's awesome. Hmm. Ah. Anyway, we need to act very fast. Okay. So you go out there to survey the land and bring us back the report. Same time tomorrow. I will do exactly as you say. All right, let's go. Make sure you do it with your spine. All right. <laughs> That's response to the presumption and arrogance of man was to divide one people and one language into many peoples and languages. yesterday I've made my spiders and I've met with people yeah so that we can have our own big empire what is she saying I don't understand Uh, 
Bon adieu, bon c'est que tu m'as envoyé aujourd'hui. Tu veux que je fasse comment? Tu veux que je calcule ça tout, tout ça aujourd'hui? Bon, c'est beaucoup de choses. Tout ça, je ne peux pas faire ça. Je ne peux pas finir ça aujourd'hui. Tout ça, j'ai beaucoup de. de, de... Ah, comment, monsieur Bouma? Tu veux que je fasse ça comment? Je commence où? Attends, je t'attends. Attends, attends, je vais te rappeler. Ok?
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus Christ is the unifier, and a great part of the glory of the gospel of Christ is that it breaks into every language and every people, bringing us back to God with one language of Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When you look at that passage, Daddy Guy, I'd like for us to quickly from the beginning, the theme of this program, Psalm 86, verse 9. All nations. Whom thou hast created shall come and worship before thee and shall glorify thy name. There are some facts stated in that passage. Number one is that God is the creator and is the king of all nations. No matter what the devil does, Jesus is the king of nations. Number two is the fact that prophetically, David was saying that all nations shall come and worship before the Lord. Now, when we look at what goes on in the world today, we can't imagine how that is going to come to pass. But I want to assure you, in the midst of confusion, in the midst of immorality, in the midst of all kinds of demonic things going on, God will still have his own type. And I'm one of his type. I will come to glorify him, to praise him. You cannot come to praise him when you have the stuff of the enemy of God in your hand or in your life. You cannot come to praise him with all the attributes of the evil one in your hand. Before you can come to praise him, you have to receive Jesus and be remain pure. Then your praise will be accepted in the sight of God. Whether the enemy likes it or not, one language that we shall all sing is what? Hallelujah. And it is for those who have purified themselves. I want you to please close your eyes. Talk to the Almighty God. And ask him to help you to be among those who will shout hallelujah to God. That your worship on this earth will not end here. But that the almighty God will help you, will purify you, will sanctify you, will enable you to come before him as prophetically stated by David 
And whether the devil likes it or not, it's going to come to pass. And may I tell you, that is coming very, very soon. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lord, we thank you. We are grateful to you. Thank you for making us part of those you have created for worship. And Lord, we pray that we will not fail you. Lord, we will not upset you. Our names will not be deleted from the book of life. In the name of Jesus. No matter the program of hell over our individual life. Father, to hinder us from shouting hallelujah on the last day. Father, destroy it in Jesus' name. And we pray for all nations that you will rule, you will reign. Beginning from the nation where we are today, you will rule, you will reign. You will prostrate the devil. You will put him to shame. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. And the nations where we all came from individually, you will rule, you will reign. And all the nations where the gospel is yet to be reached, you will rule, you will reign. You will enable us to reach those nations. As long as we live, our lives shall be for you. Thank you, dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. God bless you. Glory 2019 is fast approaching, and we, the media team, are excited about what God is planning to do in our lives. Our theme this year is taken from Matthew 21, 6 to 12. If you remember, this was Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem, and the people gave wild praises, throwing their garments on the ground, throwing branches on the ground. So our theme is Hosanna in the highest place simply saying we're coming to give our Lord Jesus Christ a unique, never-before-seen kind of praise. The program will begin on December the 20th to the 22nd. We'll start on Friday from 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. with our variety night. Doors open at 6 p.m. Then on Saturday from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. will be our wonder-working praise night. Once again, the doors will open at 6 p.m. Then on Sunday will be our grand finale at 9 a.m. with our Sunday school. Here are the Bring Down the Glory announcements. This year, we intend to give God our very best. All presentations will be critically screened. The deadline is November 17th, so if you're interested, kindly contact Dickiness Balogun or Dickiness Taiwo for more details. Auditions will be announced later. Calling on all dancers. We're calling on people who can praise God with a dance. If interested, kindly contact Sister Catherine Otule and Brother Obina in the choir to register your name. What we expect. Praise and worship is a spiritual exercise and should not be approached in the flesh. We expect the entire church to seek the face of the Lord, especially for the program, as we expect Him alone to accept and inhabit the praises of His people. Stay tuned for further details. God bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, before you go, we have a quiz. So, Mide, who mocked someone during a worship? Micah, David's first wife, Saul's daughter. And what was the occasion? The occasion was the Ark of the Covenant was being brought back to the Israelites. Unfortunately, the consequence was that she was cursed with barrenness. We're looking forward to seeing you at the Bring Down the Glory program. See you then. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Somebody Hallelujah. turn to your neighbor and say, welcome to the healing and anointing week. Come on, come on. We can do better. Come on, come on, come on. Praise the Lord. The choir is here this morning to thank God for many blessings, to thank God for everything he's done in our life. And personally, 
our soul with nothing else we need to thank God for, sparing the life of our pastor. Amen. Come on, come on. Let's say amen. Let's say amen. Let's say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Uh, to the glory of God, we're going to be ministering in two songs. The first one says, it is true. And the second one says, it's holy. Be blessed as you listen in Jesus' name.
very well. Let's shout. Level, powerful, hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. For the God of nations, shout hallelujah. For the one who kept us to see the nations day, shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. For the King of kings and the Lord Shout out to the Lord! For the creator! 
that you will do your own thing. Let your presence fill our home. Let your will be done in our lives. Let your will be done in all areas of our nations. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. Speak to us yourself. Transform our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Before we start, I see we we'll do two things. Number one, we want to put our hands together for the Lord and, and, and just bless the name of the Lord on behalf of our pastor. I'm on my pastor. Let's clap for them. Amen. Hallelujah. It's wonderful to have good leader, good father, good mother. Amen. To God be the glory for their lives in the name of Jesus. They've been a blessing to us and continually as we follow them, we will all end well in Jesus' name. And finally, before we sit down, you join us with someone and sing this song. Oh, somebody, tell him that you love him. Lift your hands together and pray. Somebody sing, oh. It doesn't matter where we are from. It doesn't matter what race, what language, what creed. All the where we are from, one thing is sure. We have one father. He is the king of kings and lord of lords. Amen. And he truly loves us. May his name be praised in our lives in Jesus' name. 
Our text is taken from, today we have a, a very short time, I'm going to be looking at topic here titled, Thy Will Be Done on Earth. Thy Will Be Done on Earth. May the will of God be done in our time, in our lives, in Jesus' mighty name. May the will of God be done in our nations, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our text is taken from 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 12 to 15. Sorry, 1 Chronicles chapter 7. Second Chronicles, I'm sorry. Second Chronicles chapter 7. Verse 12 to 15. I mean, it's, it's, I'm sorry, it's in first chronicle. First chronicle chapter seven. I'm sorry. My Bible is deceiving me here. Okay, good. First chronicle chapter seven, verse twelve to fifteen. We're going to read that together. We'll stand up as we read the word of God. Amen. Okay, one, two, three, go. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard the prayer, and I've chosen this place to my place for an house of sacrifice, if I shut up the heaven, that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among the people, if my people, if my people, it's first Chronicles, it's second Chronicles, my Bible says first Chronicles. First Chronicle, then. I mean, Second Chronicle. I'm surprised, though. <laughs> it is well. Praise the name of the Lord. Second Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 12 to 15. Amen. So we're going to read that together. I don't know why my Bible is giving me a wrong. Okay, it's well. All right, let's go. One, two, three, go. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I heard thy prayer, and I've chosen this place to my, myself for an house of sacrifice. If I shut up heaven, and there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. The final verse, now my eyes shall be open, open and my ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. May that be our portion in Jesus' mighty name. Let's have our seat. Amen. So the God of heaven and earth, obviously, created all that we see. And everything that he made, he declared were very good. Jesus said in Matthew 6, 10, that thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Why? Because in heaven, everything is in order. Everything is beautiful. Everything is glorious. Why? Because the will of God is always there. There is something special about when God's will is, is, is totally at display. Because the thought of the heart of God is good. Praise the name of the Lord. But we found out that the, the situation on earth is not the same. It's not the same thing as it is in heaven. And Jesus said, we should seek the will of God to be done on earth. We should seek the counsel of God to be done on earth. In Revelation 3, 11, verse 15, the Bible says one day, the kingdom of this world shall become the kingdom of our Lord and of Christ. May we be present that day to be with him in Jesus' mighty name. Now, when the will of the Father is, at, is, is totally in control and, and God's will is being done, the word of God moves swiftly, the spirit of God is in total control. 
And the Bible says, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The counsel of God is established. Brethren, when you talk about nations, you are talking about controlling powers. You are talking about agendas and programs. Let me be made it clear unto us that Satan has nothing good for this world. We can see, obviously. And that is why in heaven, on earth, there is so much pain and suffering. There is so much evil and wickedness because Satan is in it. The devil will not influence our life in Jesus' mighty name. Now, Jesus made it clear to us the will of God being done on earth is extremely important. When we allow God's will, when we partner with Jesus to establish the will of God, the counsel of God is established. And the result of it is peace and the reign of God in our lives. May that be our portion in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible tells us in James chapter 31, verse 21, 31, that everything that God made were all declared good. So where did the evil come from? The evil came from the introduction of sin. The introduction of Mr. Satan into the world. When Satan was in heaven, he was quickly cast out of heaven. He was going to create problem over there. He was cast out of heaven. So much so, <laughs> that the Bible says, woe to the inhabitant of the earth. In Revelation 12, 12. Woe to the inhabitant of the earth. Why? Because Mr. Satan is in it. To cause havoc. And he's full of vengeance because he has been cast out of heaven. He's full of vengeance because he has lost everything. He's full of vengeance because now he's going after anything God has interest in. He will not get us in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach to any people. How do we respond to sin today? What weapon does the devil actually have to cause us to walk away from the will of God? What, is, what does the devil do to drive a wedge between man and God? One major weapon that he use is sin. Of course, he's the originator of sin. The Bible says in Ezekiel 28, verse 14 to 18, we start describing him as a glorious man, as, a, as somebody that was created with all kinds of good things. Until iniquity was found in him. Until iniquity was found in him. So, when the iniquity was found in him, he was cast out of heaven. And he continued the ministry on earth. We will not become victims of the devil in Jesus' mighty name. Brethren, the battle is battle of souls. It's not battle of money. It's not a battle of wealth. There's so many people run after wealth and they sell their soul to the devil because of money. Because of all what they will eat, what they will drink. The devil tends to control economy. You remember the, uh, the temptation of Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 4, verse 8 to 9. He showed him the glory of the earth and said, all this I will give you if you will bow down to me. Jesus know, the, know better. It doesn't belong to him. But that is what he said. He wants to control economic power. Because if Satan come to you and say, worship you, maybe you won't do it. But then if he, if he controls what you need the most, and you need it the most, and you, and you don't want to wait for God to give it to you, you want to get it by all means, then you, people sell their soul. Look at what is happening in our world today. What corruption have done. The messenger of the devil. What all kinds of desire for one more and more and more of wealth, of money, of, of all of these things that will perish one day. But think about it for a minute and see how much destruction it has brought to man. May God help us in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the name of the Lord. In Genesis chapter, chapter 26, verse 1, Genesis 26, 1, the Bible says that Abraham, then called Abraham, did something that God did not approve for him to do. Genesis chapter 20, 20 no, sorry, verse 12, verse 10. Genesis 12, 10. The Bible says, my Bible is giving me a different, something is going on with me. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. 
So Genesis chapter 28. Third, fine. And there was famine in the land. And Abraham went down to Egypt to sojourn there. For the famine was grievous in the land. Economic control. So Abraham went to Egypt. But it wasn't approved of God to do, to do that. He responded like any human would respond to situations like that. When there's difficulty, when there's famine. But he came out of Egypt with somebody that, you know, with an Egyptian maid, which created a lot of problems later on. May God help us, all of us in Jesus' mighty name. Things that will do, that will cause us to deviate from the will of God, we will not do them in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. But same thing happened in the time of Isaac, in Jeremiah 26, verse 1. The Bible said there was again famine in the land. And Isaac proposed to do what his father did. To also go back to Egypt. To go to Egypt to look for solution. The Bible said God interrupted him and said, don't do it. Stay right here and I will bless you. Don't go to Egypt. May God help us to seek his face. No matter the situation we are facing in Jesus' mighty name. And go after his will in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Sin was introduced by the devil in the Garden of Eden. Think about it for a minute. At the Garden of Eden, there was peace. There was, of, there was pleasure of the Lord. The goodness of God was present. That was God's original intention until Mr. Satan came and deceived the woman, introducing sin to man. And you saw the result. The repercussion is what we are still feeling till today. And until Jesus comes... But praise be to the Lord, because he found a way out for us. Uh, may God deliver all of us from the untrust of Satan, in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the name of the Lord. Satan has no good agenda for man. None whatsoever. No good agenda for man. People sell their soul for things of this world. Temporal things. Have anybody seen anybody go to an, go travel to a city, you rent an hotel, and you are in the hotel for the purpose of your stay in that city, and you turn that hotel to a house, you begin to make a, a place, make, make it that look as if it's your residential place. The hotel people will kick you out when your time to go comes. That is exactly our time and season on earth. This place is a temporary place. This earth is for a short time. May God give us wisdom to live like that in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. In, in, Stock John, in Stock John chapter 1 verse 2, the Bible tells us that, beloved, I will above all things, that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prosper. There is a prosperity of soul that is not in the control of any man. When people seek after prosperity and seek after acqu acquisition of wealth in all kinds of ways, all, with all kinds of compromise, it's but for a short time. In the press of doing that, some of them sell their soul, drink and swallow the unbelievable things, and, co and connect and cooperate with Satan. In so many, we've seen it in all of these nations. And different things are going on in the environment. But brethren, there is no soul prosperity in that. Anyone that has true prosperity from God will have a soul prosperity. The prosperity that draws you closer to God. The prosperity that helps you to serve God even more. The prosperity that when all these things is over, you will still seek serve God. Even if you don't have it, you will still follow after God. May God give us that kind of prosperity in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Satan tends want to alter the destiny of men, the destiny of nations, with all kinds of program and agenda. All kinds of evil agenda. We see what is happening among the leaders of nations. Decisions have been made. Those decisions come from hell, and leaders are implementing it. Let me tell us something. The devil cannot do anything in our world except we cooperate with him. If we don't partner with him, it's not possible. He cannot do it. That's why he looks for men who will cooperate with him, who will do what he wants. And he's finding it among men because people lack knowledge. May God deliver us from lack of knowledge in Jesus' name. Nobody will open their eyes and dip their hand in, 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 in the fire. However, when it comes to what they need and what they want, they are willing to do anything to get it. May God deliver us from quick solution to problems in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. There's a story in the book of Judges chapter 16, starting from chapter 14, verse 12 to 17. The story of a young man who cooperated with the devil, even though he had a great 
destiny. The Bible tells us in the life of Samson, something for us to learn from today, brethren. This young man, his birth was announced by an angel. He had a mission for the nation of Israel. God gave him an assignment for the nation of Israel. How long he's going to do the assignment for? Now it depends on him. Will he cooperate with God or will he cooperate with the devil? Let's look at the story very quickly. In, in John chapter 14, the Bible tells us that Samson loves strange women. Every appetite that will take you to hell, when the Lord comes such appetite in our hearts in Jesus' name. Every desire for things that are ungodly, when God will put from our hearts in Jesus' mighty name. So this man desires strange women, unfortunately. And, she went, and he went after them. The Bible tells us of a marriage that he attended in, in, in chapter 14, verse 12 to 17. Judges chapter 14, verse 12 to 17. We saw what happened to him. He, he, he told the young man, a riddle during the marriage, even though his parents told him not to go after these Philistine women, but he would not listen. So he had a wedding. He put up a riddle for them to help him on discover what the meaning of the riddle and the men of the place did not know the meaning of the riddle that he put out. Judges chapter 14, verse 12 to 17. The Bible tells us there that the, uh, Samson in that place, <laughs> the wife that he has, bothered him so much to tell him the meaning of the riddle that he put out. And he did, eventually, after the woman wore him out with begging. The same thing happened to him in chapter 16. Because Satan had been going, I've been, been looking for an opportunity to, to end his ministry. To remove the power that God has given him. Satan knew from the beginning that that hair in his head is the power that he has. And if he can get rid of it, it's finished for him. But how did he end it? How did he allow Satan? By cooperating with Satan in disobedience. May God deliver from every form of disobedience in Jesus' name. Brethren, the gospel of the Lord Jesus is the solution to the problem of man. It's God's solution to deliver us from the wickedness of Satan. To deliver us from having the same outcome that Satan will have in the last day. To deliver us completely from any Anything that will alter our destinies. It's very important for us to note that if we reject the gospel, we reject God's solution for our lives. May we not reject him in Jesus' mighty name. And if you have truly known him, it is important for you and I to be an ambassador of that gospel. To be a true light in this great darkness. There is darkness all over the world. We don't see it in the spirit because we're in the physical. But the Bible tells us that God darkness covers the people. Only the children of light, children of God, ambassador of, of Jesus, are true light in the midst of darkness. Brethren, may you shine your light for God to see and for the world to see in Jesus' mighty name. We have been given an assignment to bring others to the kingdom, brethren. Let's not relent in our effort. In your little corner that you find yourself, in the place that you live, in the family that you come out from, in every part of this world, one person at a time. Let's influence the world for Jesus. May God help us as we do so in Jesus' mighty name. Now, there are many schemes and many plans. There are many agendas and programs in this, in this world. Coming from the kingdom of darkness. There are many. But ultimately, there is a God who is above them all. What counsel will stand forever? And the counsel will stand in our time, in our days, in Jesus' mighty name. Brethren, the Lord need be me and you to stand up. To be his battle house in these last days. To not let evil, evil dominate our community, our area. Let's stand up for Jesus. Let's represent him fully. And may God help us as we do so in Jesus' mighty name. In Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10, lastly. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10, the Bible says, That see, I've given thee, I've appointed thee to be. Let's open, let's open the place very quickly. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10, sorry. See, this day I've said thee over the nations, over the kingdoms, to root out, to pull down, to destroy, to throw down, to build, and to plant. 
That is the power the Lord has given unto us. And this morning we're going to pray some prayers. Believing God that as we stand in the gap, things will begin to happen for the better in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord fight all our battles in Jesus' name. Everything that is being done in our world, contrary to the will of God, the Lord will pull them down in Jesus' mighty name. And if you are here, you're not giving your life to Jesus Christ. You have not known the Lord. Brethren, there's an opportunity again to hear this. To hear the importance of the gospel of Jesus Christ in this world. The gospel of Jesus Christ to me and you to come to know him. To come to know the one who paid the price. To deliver us and rescue us from the hand of Satan. That we will not perish with him. The Bible says, he that believeth in me shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Let's rise up on our feet. We don't have enough time. Let's rise up on our feet very quickly and begin to pray. If you are here, you have not known the Lord. I want you to just raise up your hand very quickly. We can pray with you. If you don't know the Lord Jesus as Lord and as Savior. I want, to pray, I want to pray with you. If you are here, you know that Jesus is not in your heart. You have been cooperating with Satan in so many diverse ways. Whatever he tells you to do is what you do. You are wicked. You are you're doing all kinds of things. Jesus can deliver. Jesus can save. Jesus has come to set free. I want you to raise up your hand where you are. All eye closed. If you don't know the Lord, if you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and as your Savior. Amen. If there's no one, we're going to go into prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. The first prayer here says, <laughs> says, see, I've given thee power to pull down, to tear down, to build and to plant. We're going to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, every power that is working against your power in this nation, starting from this one, Father, pull, root them out. Root them out in the name of Jesus. Every power. Father, root them out in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus. Every power confronting your power in this land, in this nation. Root them out, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And finally, we're going to pray say, Father, in the name of Jesus, every plan of the devil over our, our life, over your church, over this nation, in the name of Jesus, destroy all. Every plan that is coming from hell to destroy our nations, to, put, to, come to bring to pass wicked agendas, wicked program in all our nations, destroy by fire, in the name of Jesus. Father, Father, we pray that you destroy every plan that is coming from the kingdom of darkness in every nation, causing men destinies to be altered, destroying what you are doing. Father, consume with fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Our Father, we thank you. We bless your mighty name. Thank you because only your counsel that shall stand. Before you, we have come, dear Father. We pray, oh God, as you look upon the earth, uh, that you will react against darkness, that you disgrace darkness, uh, that you put darkness to shame in every nation of the earth. Uh, in the name of Jesus, every agenda of the devil, program of Satan over every nation, Father, consume with fire. In the name of Jesus, starting from this nation, dear Father, whatever the devil has put together for this nation, for the rest of this year, Father and beyond, Father, consume with fire. In the name of Jesus, we cry to you, O oh God, and the iniquity of the nations, Father, will be wiped away, O oh Lord, and you will deliver your own. In the name of Jesus, at the end of our stay on earth, let none of us be deleted from your books. Help us yourself. Thank you, dear Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Somebody shout hallelujah. language, the one language, it doesn't matter where you come from, the one language, the one language that binds us, that connects us, we are not divided because of that one language. What is the language? 
Ah. Hey, how many people understood the drama? That drama that was shown. You know, they were gathered together. They said they wanted to form their own kingdom. And the Lord did was scatter their language. So at the end of the day, everything everybody could say was hallelujah. And there was nobody who could not say hallelujah. The one from Russia said hallelujah. From Haiti said hallelujah. From Africa said hallelujah. Therefore, shout what? Hallelujah. I said it's so beautiful and so sweet to be in the presence of the Lord and to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. It's so peaceful. It's so joyous if you really understand what it is to know Jesus. There's no battle at all when it comes to language, uh, tribe, and all that um, distraction. No, 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 no room for it. We know who binds us together. We know the connection, the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's time to pay our tithes. Let's prepare to bring our tithes to the altar of the Lord. The Bible says that which we know, but I think just to remind ourselves, and just in case there is somebody in the house who doesn't know, the Bible says in Malachi 3.10, Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have I robbed thee? And the response is, In tithes and offerings. It says, Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me. You will not rob God. I will not rob God in Jesus' name. Even this whole nation. Now going to say, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. Why? So that there may be meat in my house. And then, prove me now, herewith, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. Will a man rob God? Will a man rob God? Brethren, lift up your tithes. And he says, no. Wherein have I robbed you, God? And he says, in tithes and offerings. Some people are not robbing God when it comes to offering. They give offering. But when it comes to tithing, they rob God. That's exactly what God is saying. Say you are robbing me in tithes and offerings. Some of us will not rob God in offering. But our tithe is so big in our eyes that it's easy to rob God. Who give it the life to make money? Who give it the wisdom? Who give it the grace and ability? Is it not God? Will you rob God in your tithes? Though not robbing him in your offering. I pray God to give us clearer understanding of this in Jesus' mighty name. And if you are praying online, your tithes. We pray that the blessing, the same blessing, as the portion of everyone on the altar shall also be your own portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Technical, as you show how to prompt us on to paying our tithes online. That's what to do, brethren, paying on the line. Father, we thank you so much. Who are we to decide either to rob you in tithes or to rob you in offering? Who are we? Are you not the giver of all things? And particularly the giver of life. You are the one that have given us life to work, to serve, to make money. Lord, we ask that at 
And there are some of us who still don't understand this. You give them understanding in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord God Almighty, for those of us that have understood the fact that robbing you is not paying our tithes and not giving our offering. Two, multiply your grace upon our lives that we will not cease to be faithful unto you in Jesus' mighty name. Bless your children upon the altar this morning. They are saying that meat should be met in your house. Lord, I pray this morning that they will not lack any good thing. The Lord will meet your needs. Even as we say the, the meat of the house of the Lord be met, Almighty God of heaven and earth will meet your needs. In the name of Jesus Christ, your need physical, your need financial, your need spiritual, your need emotional, most high will meet your needs. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' powerful name, we are prayed. We may drop our tithes. This year's healing and anointing service will start tomorrow, the 11th, through November the 17th. It is going to be seven days of praise. Remember, it will be holding from 7 to 9 p.m. daily. Happy birthday, Daddy. <laughs> we love you so much. We are so happy to be in your life and we're so happy you are the head of our home um we are blessed uh, we just consider ourselves so blessed uh i'm so happy i'm proud to be your wife um esther pira they're happy uh proud that you are their father uh, a caring father a loving father a father that has planned for his own children i look back and i'm like has spent more years with you in my life than I lived with my parents that gave birth to me. And I don't have anything to regret about that. You've been a husband, you've been a father, you've been my pastor, you've been my mentor, my counselor, my prayer partner. And you've just been my love, the love of my life. I thank you so, so much, darling. I love you so much. And I pray that the Lord will lend in your days. We keep you, continue fighting your battles. You are a winner any day. And the Lord be glorified forever in your life. Happy, happy 66th birthday. God bless you. Happy birthday, Daddy. I love you so much. God bless yeah. you. Praise the Lord. It's time to uh, give our offering. And we're going to be reading from Luke chapter 6, verse 38. It says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over, shall make give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that you met withal, it shall be measured to you again. Let's please be on our feet as we give our offering unto the God of heaven and earth. Praise the Lord.
thank you because we belong to you and because we are yours Lord we are destined for greatness and that out of the abundance that you have provided with us uh, for us you have brought this token we are asking that Lord you will accept it from our hands and that you will use it O Lord Almighty for your own glory and that O Lord for as many as are willing to give but they do not have because you are the God that holds the cattle on a thousand hills Father you will meet them at the point of their needs that when next we come, O oh Lord, to offer unto you, they will have more than enough to give in Jesus' name. For everyone that has given, that you will bless the work of their hands. You will prosper, O oh Lord, our labor. And that you will bless, O oh Lord Almighty, Father, everything that we put our hands upon to do. Thank you, Almighty God. We pray, we pray Father, we will not cease to give unto you. Thank you, ancient of this. Use this, O oh Lord, for your glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, please, at this time, we just want to thank everybody, especially the sponsors and all the volunteers that helped out at the All Nations Day. God bless you, bless you, bless you in Jesus' name. God refill your pockets, take you to the next level by next year in Jesus' name even before next year, because when we gather together next year, you will be double, double, double in finances and every other which way you want in Jesus' name. I want to please emphasize the seven days praise. It starts from tomorrow. So when we come at seven o'clock, like no, we normally come to break our fast at seven and pray. It's going to be seven to nine. Praise, praise, praise. Thanking God for what he has done in the life of our pastor. Thank God we're not preparing for funeral. You should be grateful to God. And we should come and give God all the worship and all the praise that he deserves. So seven days, everybody, please, let's come and be grateful to God. We prayed and prayed and prayed. Now it's time to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Do you agree with me? Yes. Amen. So we, in, 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 in the course of that, we've also invited other people. It's not just going to be choir alone. We have uh, Pastor Femi Michael. We have Alesh coming. We have other guest uh, artists coming to sing to make it a glorious day. But we are the owners of our father here. So let it not be outsiders that will be leading the worship. You will be in the front. I will be in the front in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. At this time, if you are fellowshipping with us for the first time, first time, we are grateful to God that you made it here today. Please just pick your bags and your Bibles and rise up on your feet. If you, in case you are in the congregation anywhere in the aisle, can you please pick your bag and your Bibles and rise and go with this our gorgeously dressed sister to a little room where we'll be giving you a taste of our hospitality. Hallelujah. Please, let's put our hands together for Jesus. God has brought them here. And if you don't have a home church, of course, this is the right place to be at the right time. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a very, very important announcement to make to the church. Please listen to it because we don't want next Sunday to be rowdy. Also, before I, I give it to the men that would be talking... Today, the, I've been instructed to tell you that it's been organized outside. Remember, we are fasting. So, you are just going to take, food has been packed to go. It's one, one day, what, what they give you. Just take it with thanksgiving and go home. Please, it's one per person. Let's not collect for people that are still collecting visa from Nigeria. <laughs> I'm just kidding, okay? You just, but it's one per person. Please, let's be orderly. They put a line. Let's follow it as children of the Most High God. The Bible says everything should be done decently and in order. So let's, when, by the time we finish our prayer, 
you will go and collect the one that they give you. Amen. Now hold on for a very important announcement from the men. You need to hear this one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Restoration. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's an atmosphere of joy and celebration. When we met uh, the MOV, our August meeting, during our prayer, uh, the Lord laid something in our hearts. And uh, we, we wrote a card to the pastor. And uh, we told the pastor, when you come back, and by God's grace, you will come back before our week. When you come back, we are going to host you to a banquet. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And uh, I'm sure pastor has been looking forward to it. Amen. And uh, we also made the promise that we are going to give God praise. Hallelujah. So we are going to fulfill our promise. Like uh, A.P. Boma said, we prayed. Every department, A.P., big, everybody in this church, we were raising prayer to God. And guess what? God has answered our prayers. So next week, Sunday, we are going to be hosting, actually, a secret. We promised him, but we didn't tell him when. So next week, Sunday, we are going to be hosting our pastor to a banquet. The whole church is invited. Amen. Amen. And it just so happened, you know, God is a God. He, he arranges things. He's the architect. It just so happened that it is our pastor's birthday, a day after his birthday, so, we are going to be singing happy birthday. We are going to be cutting cake. It's going to be a day to celebrate our pastor. So, I, I encourage you all, please, follow the instructions that will be coming from our, our AP. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I love the excitement that, like AP said, we are not planning to do a funeral for our daddy. Hallelujah. But we are planning to celebrate his being alive and being well. Amen. And the Bible says when you give a pledge, don't be a fool and not pay it. We are not going to be fools as men. We told God we would do it. And by the grace of God, coming next Sunday, we are going to do it and it's going to be very, very big. Amen. 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 So please, it's going to be five hours. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hours of praise, unending praise and worship to our God. And then there will be a lot to eat. A lot. Too much to eat. Amen. If we hear the amount we are spending on this thing, your, your heart will shake. Amen. We are, so please, everybody be well dressed. The, dressing, the dress code for men is going to be, you know, official. Come in your black tie, your black suit and your black pants white shirt to go with. But if you don't have that, it's okay. Just come the way you are. Amen. Come the way you are. The reason for the dress code is so we can take pictures and we can have it in a nice album so your face can show up there. Amen. So our generation that will come after us will see what we did to glorify God because he kept our prayers and he answered us. Amen. So our AP will give us direction more how it will go and it's going to be a great day. Amen. And please, Man, those, this time, is, this is not women event, oh, and this is not just an event. It is our thing. Our women will be there. We guarantee that one. But please, men, this time, <laughs> please, oh, don't, <laughs> don't let our food waste, oh. Uh -huh, please, please. And um, AP will guide us. Please, when we fill this one, make sure you drop your own, and then we'll be well organized. Amen. Praise the Lord. Just, uh, the ushers are already passing the forms out. Just as we did for Mommy Pastor's birthday, we are filling out the form. Even though we know that um, everybody's invited, it is free for all, only adults, no children, no youths, because we are planning for 500 people. So please, only adults, one per family. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, for example, you just fill one form. So Mr. Smith is not filling. We're not inviting our friends. It's a restoration dinner. We're not inviting our friends. It's just for families, just only adults, no children, no youths. Praise the Lord. Now, please, let me explain something that is very important so you don't get upset on that day. On next week, Sunday, it is only those that have RSVP'd that will be given access cards to come into the building. 
because we have to be organized and we have to work, plan well. So if you do not fill the form for whatever reason, please don't expect an access card. Next week, Sunday, we'll give you the access card after service in the lobby, just as we did when we did Mommy Pastor's birthday. So please, please, please fill out the form. Don't give for your friends. We don't have, we're not entertaining any friends. This is not revival service. Bring them for revival. This one is our church Thanksgiving. We are telling God thank you as a church, as a family. And we are going to be um, more organized than that. So it's starting at 5. Doors will open at 5 p.m. Please, please, I'm begging already. HPD will be there. It's not holy police. Holy police will help us in the parking lot. But HPD will take your card from you and allow you to get, get inside. So that we don't grieve ourselves and we don't get upset to say this is our church. That is why you have to obey this, this thing. If you fill it out, there will be no problem. You will definitely get a card. But if you don't fill it out, I'm sorry. On, the, on that day, it will, be, it will not be like the gate of uh, heaven. And the, uh, it will not be like that in Jesus' name. Don't say it. <laughs> All right, praise the Lord. So please also just don't come and uh, just eat. There's going to be food, drinks like this. I don't know about the one million types of food he said, but I know that there will be food enough for you to eat. But please let's be praying that what God has started in our pastor's life will be permanent. None of us will fall sick in the name of Jesus Christ. God will keep him beyond that time and we'll all rejoice. We'll all enjoy our Christmas in Jesus' mighty name. If there are any other announcements, I think, um, are we there? Okay, one more thing too. And please, like uh, the chairman Riley said, this is a surprise for daddy, a surprise. Please, when you get the flyer, don't send it to daddy. Don't send it to him, please. We want a pleasant surprise to him. Uh, please, don't, uh, please, uh, just keep it, you know, and I know the Lord will be glorified and the devil will be put to shame in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. We have come to the end of the service. Please turn in your form today. You'll get your access card next week, Sunday, immediately after the service. Shall we rise? We are still praying for 30 minutes, but shall we rise to dismiss those that are leaving for work? If you're not going to work, please let's stay and pray. But shall we all rise? Amen. God is good. I just want us to give God a wave offering at this time. Just wave unto him and appreciate God for what he has done. Sometimes we take God for granted. You know, it's only the living that can actually praise the Lord. God has kept you till this time because, because he loves you and he loves me. Let's appreciate God. Thank him for all Nations Day today. Thank him for the word that came today. Thank him for all he has said to you today. Your life will not waste in the name of Jesus. My life will not waste in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the service of today. We give you all the glory and all the praise for all that you have done. Thank you, oh God Almighty, for ministering to us through word, through song, through the All Nations drama, through everything you have done today. We return all the glory back to you. We commit this week before you that, Father, you go ahead of us as a mighty, terrible one. You make every crooked path straight for us in the mighty name of Jesus. As we go, Father, please go with us. Let your presence never depart from us. In Jesus' marvelous name, we have prayed. The grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely. God's goodness and his mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please, you are waiting to pray for 30 minutes. If you have to go to work, you can be excused.